Welcome to the University of Washington Registration Tutorial for MyPlan. You can access MyPlan by selecting the My UW link from the UW homepage and logging in with your UW Net ID and password. Select the MyPlan link listed under Registration. You can also access MyPlan directly at myplan.uw.edu. MyPlan is your online academic planning tool. With MyPlan, you can find courses you want to register for, map them out using a visual calendar, and plan your UW degree. From the landing page, you can navigate to all features within MyPlan. MyPlan has three main sections. Explore allows you to search for courses and programs at all three UW campuses. Manage allows you to view your courses and build a schedule using a visual calendar. Track allows you to run an audit on your plan or courses you've taken so far to check your academic progress. You can also navigate to other My Plan features by hovering over the panel on the left side of the screen or select the menu button. This panel is on every My Plan page. On the Find Courses page, you can search the course catalog. You can filter your search to show open sections only, courses without ad codes or faculty numbers, or non-professional and continuing education classes, or PCE. You can also filter to include only courses that meet at a specific time or day. Once you have selected your preferred filters, you can now search for courses by typing the general education requirement, course title, prefix, or keyword in the search box. The Auto Suggest dropdown provides suggestions for searches based on your entry. General education requirements are requirements necessary to graduate with an undergraduate degree from UW that may relate to requirements for a specific major. The post search filters on the left allow you to further narrow your search by general education requirements, course level, and credits. Click a course title to view the course details page. There can be multiple lecture, lab, or quiz sections for an offered course. These sections are different classes that have the same course number and may have different instructors or syllabi, but meet the same requirement. They are distinguished from each other by the Schedule Line Number, or SLN, identification number. Select the section you want to add to your plan by clicking on the button if you're not sure if you want to register for this course just yet, you can click the Bookmark Course button to take action later. Once you have selected some courses, you can now select View Current Quarter from the left side panel under the Manage option. This screen shows you a summary of the courses you have previously selected and the total number of credits. You can use this page to select required sections and build your schedule. To build your schedule using a visual calendar, select the Build a Schedule option on the left-hand navigation panel. Schedule Builder allows you to see up to 25 possible schedules for the quarter. Schedules can vary depending on the sections you've added to your plan. Selecting a calendar block will display the schedule details for that specific section. Schedules can be compared by selecting blocks at the top of the screen. By selecting the Exclude sections from the right-hand side of the screen, you can block out specific days and times and display only schedules that meet your time constraints. Before registering, you may want to share your plan with an advisor. Your advisor can see your plan and leave messages unless you select the Private radio button under your name in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Advisors cannot make changes to your plan. After viewing your plan, your advisor can send you comments directly in My Plan. Once you are done selecting your courses, you can now register on the top right hand corner of the screen. You can check with your advisor or the academic calendar 
for information on your registration period. The registration button sends all of your course sections directly to registration. Issues may arise if a required section has not been added or if there is a time conflict between the sections selected. You can learn more about what's preventing you from registering by selecting View Issues. Once you've resolved any issues, select the Register button. Now you can click the header on every course title to include or exclude that course. If the header on the top of the course is grayed out, it means the course is no longer selected for registration. You can click it again to include it. If your registration is successful, you'll see a Schedule Updated Registration Confirmation screen which will open in a separate window. For additional information on how to use MyPlan, including quick guides for MyPlan features, visit helpcenter.uw.edu/myplan.